we can only be a community that is food secure when our people can be able to get the right kind of food um, through the right channels at cost they can afford. That's when we say that they are food secure. Now, how does this create opportunities? Are there even any opportunities to explore given this? And the answer is yes. If we zero in on Nigeria, we realize that um, in Nigeria, over 60% of people's incomes are spent on food. And the irony is that Nigeria is a net importer of food. Now, a lot of people might um, want to look at this as a problem, but it's actually a huge opportunity. It's an opportunity for a people to sit back and position themselves and decide how they are going to play. Not just as a community, but um, a community that is now much more connected to the global food system because technology has um, sort of leveled the playing grounds. The world is now very, very flat. So regardless of your location, you can actually key into the global food system. Now, um, as, as a world, we have a challenge. We need to be able to feed 9.7 billion people by 2050. And to do that, we must produce 60% more food than we currently do. And this is in the face of climate change and increasing soil degradation. So um, these are clear opportunities for us as a people to sit back and chart a course for our food future. 